Talking live to an international sports champion next about his book chronicling the competition of and for his life. And don't miss our introduction to a World War II veteran who's celebrating his 96th birthday. Now to an inspiring story this Memorial Day of a world champion sportsman who had the fight of and for his life. We're talking about international Ironman star Oscar Chalipsky. He's also the author of the book No Retreat, No Surrender. In it, Oscar discusses his most recent and formidable opponent, cancer. Doctors told him it was incurable. But guess what? We're happy to say he beat the odds. And he's joining us live this midday to discuss his battle with cancer and how he hopes to inspire others. Oscar, welcome to Midday Live. Thank you very much and happy Memorial Day as, as I'm sitting here in Waikiki Beach. Okay, we're a little <laughs> jealous, okay? You, you picked a better spot for Memorial Day, but I'm really glad we can connect and talk about this. Um, and first, I just want people to get to know you a little bit better. You are South African, right, where you are both an Olympic icon and uh, you're an international Ironman star. Tell us about your sporting history and your accolades there. I know you don't want to brag, but I do want to hear about it. Okay, so it actually started in Hawaii in about 1983 when I, when I won my first world channel crossing. And yesterday I did my... 40th one uh, going from Molokai to Oahu. It's a 52 or 32 mile crossing. And I won that uh, race, the World Championships, 12 years. I won my first one at 20 and my last one at 49. So that's one of the things that, and I played and I did boogie boarding and I've done rugby. So I've done many, many sports over a long time because I'm now 60 and still racing and fighting for my life. So it's been a long, long career, which started at age 14, 15 when I was in the national uh, kayaking team, uh, went to the Olympics and the national life-saving team and Ironman. So I've been around for a long time and uh, longevity and all those things uh, is why I decided to write the book. Well, you've been around for a long time. You've accomplished so much. Some would call you multi-hyphenate because it's, it's almost seemed as if you've had multiple lives here, mm -hmm. uh, including your book that you've written, winning the biggest battle of your life how long ago was it that you were diagnosed with cancer and can you tell us about the type of cancer this a uh, multiple myeloma so it was interesting on the 25th of november listen to this 25th of november 2019 i got diagnosed with uh they gave me six months to live so you can imagine i was sitting in portugal with my wife of 40 years and it was a shock obviously i shed a few tears i mean it is tough my wife was devastated. But, you know, I said to myself, I've had so many, I've done so many, accomplished so many things. There's no way uh, I'm just going to lie back, number one. And number two, I realized that I'd done and accomplished everything in life, so it didn't feel so bad. And the next thing was I had a fight. And, and on the 29th of November, we decided to write the book. And the difference about my book is that I give life lessons. So it's helping other people fighting their demons their problems and and cancer is say i was given six months and here mm -hmm. three years later i'm paddling and racing and doing as much as i can to help other people and i think that's important for everybody to do i feel very proud of, of helping many people fight cancer and i know lots of people because my bone marrow cancer or multiple myeloma there is actually no cure at the moment but i have chemo every three months it doesn't affect me one bit, the chemo. That was very fortunate again. Well, maybe not fortunate because what actually I do before I have my chemo, I fast for two or three days, no food, just water. And I found I've never had uh, any adverse effect from chemo. So that's what I teach a lot of people to do as well. All right. Fasting aside, you know, can you talk about some more of the Ironman training mentality that kicks in when you're fighting this kind of battle and give our viewers a few more concrete takeaways and things that they might do if they were facing the same situation? You know, the thing, thing is you, you don't want to let cancer rule your life. You've got to actually fight hard. So I, at the moment, I'm still I'm 60 and I, and I probably trained two or three times uh, a day, still a day, and I keep fit and I've always set myself goals, what I want to do and how to lose weight and all those things. But the most important thing is, you, is your brain is the strongest part of your body. And if you can keep that positive. So when I won my 12th Molokai World Championship, never forget crossing the channel just down there, is that I, if I'd fallen out my canoe, or my kayak, I think I would have drowned. But <clears throat> at no stage did I think 
I was going to lose that race. And at no stage do I think I'm going to lose the battle against cancer because it's all up here. And we've all got this. We just got to train our brain to be positive. And there's so many people out there and so many books out there that can help you get help and get support. You need it. I mean, that's what you need in life all the time. And that's exactly what they can find in your book. Uh, Oscar Chalipsky, we really appreciate your time. You're an inspiration to so many. And folks can learn more about you when they get your book, No Retreat, No Surrender. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you very much, and have a lovely Memorial Day. You too. We'll be right back.